In this video we'll be covering some important and basic settings which will help you getting started with Trade Tiger. After logging into Trade Tiger, click on settings and select user settings. In this video I will be covering some important settings, rest of the settings can be kept as default. Under general, let's start with inactive minutes. This helps you set up inactive minutes after which Trade Tiger will get logged. Once your platform is logged, you cannot place, modify or manage orders. To unlock Trade Tiger, you will be prompted to enter your password when you place, modify or cancel an order. I like to keep it 999 so that my Trade Tiger does not get logged every few minutes. You can set this as per your preference. Next important setting is Beep on Trade. This is very helpful when you are away from your screen or occupied with some other work. Check marking this option will give you audio notification whenever an order is executed. Next, check mark show chart. This will help you open charts of script in market watch by double clicking on them. The last important setting under general tab is show market depth. This will help you open market depth which is the top 5 bid and ask of a script by selecting them with single click in market watch. I prefer to keep it unchecked to avoid market depth pop up window whenever I select a script. Once you're done with the basic user settings, we will be moving on to graph settings under the settings tab. Click on graph settings to have the graph settings pop up window. Let's start with the graph settings. I'll choose my background color as white and my foreground color as black. For my graph up, I prefer a darker shade of green therefore I'll be making it a little bit darker. And for my graph down I'm happy with red. For my graph volume color I prefer black and the chart type will be candlestick for me. Graph link by will be none and font size and font style can be based on your preference. The next option is show pre-market data. I will keep it as unchecked. Show post close data will be unchecked for me. Show data window, I'll check mark. Show volume panel, I'll uncheck. Adjust with market hours should be check marked. Limited number of ticks on chart will be as per your preference. Show tool menu should be check marked. Show bid and ask panel should be check marked. Once you're done with these settings, scroll down and start with chart book. Let's not make any changes to this as of now. We'll move to the next one, which is alert to trade. Keep it check marked. Mouse pointer should be set as tracker ball and make sure your mouse pointer color is not matching with your background. Because my background was white, I'll change my mouse pointer to black. Day separator will be based on your preference. Data listing, we don't have to make any changes. Supply zones, I will keep them a little bit more transparent. And I don't like to see border for my zones, therefore I'll uncheck this. I also like to replicate my zones from smaller time frames to higher time frames. Therefore, I'll select specific interval replication. I'll click on advanced settings and select all the time frames and click on apply. I'll do the same thing with demand zones. I'll make it a little bit more transparent for me. I don't like to see borders and I'll replicate it to all time frames. Once we are done with the settings for supply and demand zone, We'll scroll up and start doing the settings for different tools one by one. I'll start with my stop loss line and I'll make the thickness as 2 and I'll keep the color as red. For my target line, I prefer a darker shade of green, therefore I'll make it a darker green and make the thickness as 2. For my entry line, I prefer blue. I'll change this to blue. In fact, a little darker shade of blue and make it as 2. Pitchfork we won't be using, average tick line we don't want to see on the chart therefore we'll disable it, previous close line we don't want to see in the chart we will disable it, pivot levels we don't have the options here that will be under your studies, then we have vertical lines, in case I draw a vertical line I would prefer my line to be black in color that's the reason I'll change this to black. For my retracement, I have changed the numbers to 0, 33.33, 66.66 and 100. This will help me divide my curve into three parts. The next thing I want to make sure is that the tool color should not be matching with my background. 
therefore I'll change this to black and I'll also uncheck snap to price and show percentage. After this we will be choosing symbols and I'll be making my symbols as black in color. I'll go to free line tool. I'll again make it as black just in case if I want to draw some free lines the color would be visible on a white background. The next one is trend line. I'll again change the color to black. Next one is text. I'll again make it as black. Next one is horizontal line which I'll again change to black. And the last one is Fibonacci extension. I have changed the numbers for the Fibonacci extension to minus 300, minus 200, minus 100, 0, 100, 200 and 300. This helps me draw my 1 is to 1s, 2 is to 1s and 3 is to 1s on the chart. I'll again make sure that the tool color does not match with my background color. Therefore, I'll change this to black and I'll again remove show percentage and snap to price. Once I'm done with all these settings, I'll click on save. And now I'm done with these settings for my chart. Now that I'm done with these settings for the chart, let's open a chart and see how it looks like. I'll double click on any of the script name and I'll have the chart. You can see as of now, this chart is not a candlestick chart. The reason for that is if you look at the time frame, it is an intraday chart and a zero minute chart, which means we are still looking at a tick chart. To change it to a candlestick chart, I will change the time frame to daily and now you will see that the chart is a candlestick chart. The other thing missing on this chart is the boring candles. To add boring candle tool, we'll right click on the chart, we'll go to study, add study and we'll select boring candles from this drop down window. Once I apply boring candles, now you can see that we have blue candles as boring candles on the chart. Now I'll be closing this chart and opening the chart again. You can see that every time you open the chart, all the settings are gone. I'm again back to a tick chart and I can't see it as candlestick. And even if I change this to a daily time frame, I don't see my boring candles. So next we'll be learning how to set the charts so that the settings which you have done are applied by default to that chart. To do this, open any chart. Because I would like to see daily time frame as default, first I'll change my time frame to daily. Because I also want to see boring candles on the chart, I'll again right click on the chart, I'll click on study, add study and add boring candles. Once I'm done with all the settings which I want to see as default, I will save this as a template. To save it as a template, right click on the chart, click on chart and select save chart template. Save it at a location which you'll remember. In this case, I'm saving it under graph templates in the daily chart folder and I'm saving it with the name as sample. Once I've saved this as a template, the next thing I have to do is I have to set this template as my default template. To do that, right click on the chart, go to settings and under settings check mark default template. This will prompt you and ask you where is your default template. Because I saved my default template in the daily chart folder, I'll select my daily chart folder, select the sample template, click on it and I'll save it. I'll close the chart and now you can see whenever I open a chart by default I am on the daily time frame and I have my candlesticks with all the three colors the red and the green and the blue and this is how you will be able to do all your basic settings to get started with Tray Tiger. Please like and subscribe to get more updates.